Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Murky, and I just wanted to make a, a short video defending non-voters. Um, basically, the, the short version of my defense um, is just a uh, pointing out the concept of, quote, the, the party of non-voters. Now, um, most people have probably heard of this. Uh, political scientists have long pointed out this whole concept of, of the party of non-voters. And um, it can be used as a, a, a rhetorical device uh, simply because it, 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 it indicates that there is some kind of uh, deficiency with the, uh, the system or with, with the uh, so-called uh, democratic uh, system in the United States. Uh, the party of non-voters, the concept I got from uh, a book which I'll show you. It's a uh, the 20th century, a people's history by Howard Zinn. Now, uh, you might, as you can tell, my copy is very old and falling apart, but uh, still readable. And uh, the act, the exact citation, I mean, or, or passage, I'll. Uh, read to you. Uh, quote, the large party in the election by far was what political scientist and election specialist Walter Dean Burnham called, quote, the party of non-voters. Um, and and if, the, if the party of non-voters is very large, then uh, if you add the party of non-voters to the people who did not vote for the winning candidate, then you have a large majority of people who, in fact, voted against the winner. And you could use that to uh, uh, attack the legitimacy of the winner, as, as Howard Zinn did, to uh, give you the context of, of, the, of this. I'll uh, quote some more from this book. Now, now, what I'm about to quote is, uh, is a chapter called The Challenge of 1984, which is not included in um, later editions of People's History, nor is it included in the, uh, any, any uh, edition of, of 20th Century that, that I've seen. And, and 20th Century is just uh, basically the chapters that deal with uh, 1900 and all. Uh, and it's sold separately. It's kind of a well, in my opinion, it's kind of a ripoff because you, you pay like five more dollars, you get the whole thing. But anyway, back to the topic. Uh, this is how Zen uh, here. He says, "Quote: Did the people of the United States elect Ronald Reagan as president in 1980? There is no clear-cut answer to this. You know, see, he's creating doubt." about, you know, how to interpret the, the election results as, uh, as any critical thinker should do because there will be, uh, a, there will be spin and, and, and uh, you know, some, uh, somebody might say, quote, the people have spoken when they, you know, really are just, uh, voting for people based on, you know, complete, uh, you know, completely silly reasons. But anyway, uh, I'll continue. He, he won by the barest of, my, uh, of majorities, getting 50.7% of the votes, while outgoing President Jimmy Carter received 41% of the popular vote, and Anderson received 8.2%. Only 54% of the voting age population voted, and so that's another thing to look for. Uh, look for uh, what percentage of the population actually voted uh, that, that were eligible to vote, and uh, it's just incredible that that such a small percentage of of, of the voting uh, electorate actually go to the polls. Uh, 
you know, nearly half stay away. Uh, throughout throughout the 80s, that was the case. Uh, and I think that was the case uh, in the recent like Nearly half just didn't didn't uh, pull the lever or however they do it today. Touch the screen, they didn't do it. So. Uh, So of the total who are eligible to vote, 27 voted for Reagan, while a much higher percentage did not vote at all. So the percentage that, don't, that doesn't vote at all is always higher than the, the percentage that actually vote for the winner. And the winner gets very uh, a very small minority of the electorate's vote. So... Um, It's, it's amazing how anyone could say that the such and such the president is popular when the um, vast majority electorate does never votes for the winner. Another another book that is uh, talked about this from the 80s as well is uh, Noam Chomsky's book Turning the Tide, which is which is a good one. It's on it's online available for for free. If you, if you, because it's out of print, so it's hard to get a copy. But it's on the line uh, for free. It's uh, still worth reading. And he says, uh, con concerning the what I just told you about how uh, so many people don't vote. He says, "quote such vote uh, such results on voter participation and attitudes would have been regarded as as a disaster." for the political system and other industrial democracies. So if you don't vote, someone can point out how, uh, how uh, much of a disaster the, uh, the American uh, system of government is, or just how, how much of a disaster the, the American political economic uh, system is. You know, which is which is something uh, that that critical thinkers should uh, consider. Uh, now he he's commented on uh, the, the next election, so the one following the 1981, which was the 1984 election, and he, he points out Reagan receives just under 30 percent of the electorate electoral vote. Just 30 percent of the electoral vote. So these presidents are, 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 you know, are making laws that affect um, certain constituencies, or perhaps, or perhaps uh, indirectly affect everyone, and they uh, they don't um, ever have a, a large support, a, a large majority of, of of support of the people. They out of the electorate, they only have. Um, if, if, if both indicate support, then they only have usually uh, thirty percent, thirty percent of the electorate supporting them. So to get back on topic, if you don't vote, you, you're, you're, if you don't vote, uh, a, a no vote still counts as a. Uh, a vote, a vote could, could be interpreted as a uh, vote against the winner, and that's uh, that's the best I could say to defend non-voters. Um, I plan to vote, and uh, but I'm not really sure which one to vote for. I uh, it's, it's going to be either uh, Rocky Anderson or or. Uh, Johnson, Gary Johnson, and um, I have about 60 days or so to uh, figure out which one of those are are better. And uh, and in the follow video, I'll uh, do my research and maybe uh, I hope uh, help myself and others decide which one is. 
the best uh, person to vote for. So um, that's all. Good night.